Spark plugs are used in gasoline-fueled internal combustion engines to provide an electric arc that will ignite the mixture of air and fuel in the cylinders. The plug end that goes into the engine contains electrodes, and they are set to a gap or distance recommended by the manufacturer. Since a spark has to jump a set distance to achieve the best ignition, the farther or closer the gap distance is from that recommended, the less efficient the spark and engine performance will be. Also, spark plugs that become covered with deposits from combustion can degrade an engine's performance. You'll probably see an excessive mag drop if a spark plug is fouled. Have your mechanic check if you suspect a problem with the engine spark plugs. Normal combustion occurs when the spark plugs ignite the mixture of air and fuel in the cylinder, which then burns progressively from the spark plugs outward and produces a smooth, downward pressure on the piston. Two problems that can occur inside an engine cylinder and cause abnormal combustion are detonation and pre-ignition. Detonation occurs when the fuel and air mixture is subjected to very high temperature in the cylinder and the spontaneous combustion point of the mixture is reached. When this happens, the normal progressively smooth combustion is replaced by a sudden explosion, which produces extremely high pressure, frequently in excess of the structural limits of the engine parts. The explosion so sharp that it's often described as the equivalent of hitting the piston with a hard blow from a sledgehammer. It's hard to hear when detonation is occurring in an aircraft engine due to all the other aircraft noises, but it shows up as an unexplained loss of engine power and overheating. Detonation may be caused by using too low a grade of fuel, climbing at too slow an airspeed which creates excessive heat, or using too lean a mixture with a high power setting. Pre-ignition is the uncontrolled igniting of the fuel and air mixture before the time the spark plugs are set to fire. This may be caused by excessively hot exhaust valves or spark plug electrodes heated to a glowing state as a result of detonation. When pre-ignition occurs, the piston is still rising to the top of the cylinder when ignition takes place. Ignition exerts a downward force opposite the travel of the piston, creating severe structural stresses on the engine. The big difference between detonation and pre-ignition is that if detonation is happening in one cylinder, it's likely happening in all cylinders of the engine, while pre-ignition may be present in only one or two cylinders. Probably the most reliable indicator of pre-ignition is loss of power. The way to temporarily stop detonation and pre-ignition is to promote engine cooling by reducing power, enriching the mixture, and, if the airplane has them, opening the cowl flaps.